This is Chris Kelly for WelcomeLocal.com, which is a simple tutorial on better breathing. Now, one of the common things that we see with poor breathing patterns is breathing vertically. So I'm breathing through my neck, through my chest, and I'm getting into this kind of stress breathing pattern where you know you feel anxious throughout the day, you lose your breath, and this is something that is commonly associated with low carb diets and really just dieting in general. In order to help learn to breathe correctly, breathe through our bellies and just reestablish sort of a calm, easy breathing pattern. We're going to start here on the ground. All right, now I'm just going to start this prone position. I'm starting here on the floor, and I'm just going to take a deep breath through my nose, expand my belly, my rib cage out to the sides, and all along here into the ground, hold, and release. Because I'm in this position, I literally cannot breathe up. So um, you're breathing straight into the ground. This is a great way to help to just learn to reestablish this. Just think about getting fat, expanding the belly out, breathing through the nose, counting for about three seconds, and then releasing. Uh, you know, doing this for two to three minutes a day, you know, maybe after a long day or before work is a great way to help to calm you down, to get you centered, or even, you know, before, at a, at a point where you're feeling cravings, is just a great way to get your head together and, you know, kind of keep your mind right with that. Now, one of the bigger issues that we face with this, uh, with people that do exercise in the gym, you know, that have really a lot of tightness in their abs, you know, maybe they're doing a lot of, um, you know, push-ups or, you know, they're doing a lot of ab crunch, whatever it may be, is restriction and tightness of the abs. So the external oblique, rectus abdominis, all of that. And because these muscles are tight, they're, they act like a corset to restrict breathing here. So we literally cannot breathe out. When that is the case, um, we're going we're gonna to take the same setup. We're just going to place a ball under the area of restriction. So I'm placing the ball here. I'm putting it under my stomach. I'm just holding this position. I'm taking a deep breath. And I'm expanding the ball into that area. I'm holding. And I'm releasing. I'm expanding. Holding. And releasing. And, you know, doing that five to ten times or just whatever spots of restriction that might, you might feel is like self-massage for the abdomen here. And that's going to just unravel this corset that is kind of grabbing the abs and allow you just to expand your belly out. Um, for those that have the opposite problem, for those that have a lot of lordosis going on in the low back, maybe you sit up at work like this and you have a lot of pain along this area here, a great way to help with that would be to simply lay over a stability ball. And so I'm just getting into the opposite posture, I'm sort of undoing that, and at the same time, I'm doing the same thing. I'm taking a deep breath, and I'm feeling my abs contract as well. This is a good side effect, simply because the ball is pressurizing my stomach, and I'm releasing. And really, looking at that, um, one of those three fixes is going to be what you're going to want to do during, uh, you know, after a long day. Um, maybe over the course of two to three weeks, your body will just learn to breathe um, deeply. You'll, you'll kind of re-ingrain that natural pattern. And it'll really help to just center you and uh, keep your mind right you know, during periods where you're craving or maybe after a long day. And that's a great way to relearn breathing.